On SNG Daily, we'll tell you how Anthony Blinken has to do a tightrope walk in China and also why the Spanish Prime Minister is considering taking a break from public life. But first, let's talk about Israel and Gaza. Now, Hamas released a video of an Israeli-American hostage on Wednesday. The parents of Hirsch Goldberg Poland have been campaigning for his release and 133 who are still in Hamas captivity. It is unclear when the video was taken or where it was taken in Gaza. The 23-year-old was abducted from the Nova Music Festival on October 7. Israel pounded northern Gaza in bombing that has been among the most intense from the early days of the war. Israel has also said it is moving ahead with an all-out assault on Rafah without confirming any timelines. In Jerusalem, a scuffle broke out between police and protesters demanding the immediate release of hostages. Uh, we came out today to uh, call for the immediate release of all hostages, even in the name of uh, not continuing this awful, horrible war that has killed the hostages up till now. And we hope that our, uh, that our message will be heard by the, the people who are responsible and that they will come back now. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez is taking a break from public life to decide if he still wants to continue leading the country. He wrote, and I quote, I urgently need an answer to the question of whether it is worthwhile and whether I should continue to lead the government or renounce this honour. The post came out of the blue and shocked many. The trigger? A Spanish court said it was launching a preliminary investigation into whether Sanchez's wife, Begona Gomez, used her influence as the wife of the Prime Minister to allegedly secure sponsors for a university master's degree course that she ran. Now, Prime Minister Sanchez said the seriousness of the attacks against his wife and him deserved a measured response. When he appeared in Parliament earlier in the day, he said he believed in justice in the country. Ser muy escueto. En un día como hoy y después de las noticias que he conocido, a pesar de todo, sigo creyendo. The knives were out even before he landed in Shanghai at the start of his China visit. The spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry said US-Taiwan's military collision will only worsen the situation in the Taiwan Strait. The US has cleared an aid package of over 8 billion US dollars for Taiwan. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken sought a level playing field for American companies in China. He met with business leaders in Shanghai and will be heading to Beijing on Friday to meet with his counterpart Wang Yi and a likely rendezvous with President Xi. The two economic superpowers have recently started repairing their strained relation that hit a low early last year after the spy balloon incident. Rudy Giuliani, New York's former mayor and former lawyer for Donald Trump, was among 18 people charged in Arizona. The indictment alleges the defendants pressured the Maricopa Board of Supervisors, the Arizona legislature and then-governor Duke Ducey to change the election results of 2020 in favour of Donald Trump. In court papers, Trump has been referred to as an unindicted co-conspirator. Arizona is one of the seven states where Biden won the Electoral College votes, but Trump supporters sought to award them to Trump. Now, Arizona is the fourth state where those who were part of the elector scheme face criminal charges. Trump and his legal team have called this a part of a witch hunt. President Biden signed the bill passed by the Senate that will immediately send weapons and equipment to Ukraine. The $61 billion aid package for Ukraine comes after months of delays and as Ukraine is struggling to contain Russia's advance on its front lines. The $95 billion aid package is for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. While thanking both Democrats and Republicans for showing bipartisan support to ensure the package goes through, Biden called Putin a dictator and said that America stands with its friends and bows to no one. He also reiterated his ironclad support for Israel. We don't walk away from our allies. We stand with them. That's what it means to be the indispensable nation. That's what it means to be the world's superpower and the world's leading democracy. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more news updates.